All right, I, I, I'm excited for this man, and I don't know if I should be. What's up, buddies? Welcome to another past and present squad builder episode, if you will. Uh, the past and present Barcelona squad, the past and present Real Madrid squad has gone very, very well. So just as something I've been using a few players from, I thought it would be fun to do. We're doing a past and present national team as the title and as the thumbnail would suggest we're doing a past and present spain setup again if you're excited for the episode smash the like button as always we'll be doing a giveaway within the video last episode was a hundred dollars uh giveaway's been drawn on the video so all good to go there for this epi let's do it again in terms of a jersey giveaway so i don't have a spain jersey but i do have an og uh nick 28t custom jersey that real madrid sent me a few years ago um just as a little spicy thing to send so i'm gonna wear that here i think as a spain squad probably represented the most by real madrid i feel like catalonia in and of itself would be like a barcelona representation right which is why i always found it weird that like catalan players still just decided to play for spain as opposed to i don't know anyways let's not get into it i don't i we really absolutely shouldn't get into it so Smash the like button if you're excited for the episode. Let's do a jersey giveaway. If you win, it, you can pick whatever jersey you want. If you want a national team jersey, Euros are coming as well this summer. So all you got to do is comment, as always, maybe who and what is the nation that you uh, are integrated with the most. Are you born in Canada? Do you want Canada to do well as a nation? Do you want a Canada national team jersey? Uh, are your parents Spanish? You know, do you support Spain as a national team? And what's your connection to Spain as a national team? Give me some cool stories within the comments section. And obviously the coolest one will pick uh, to win the jersey for this episode. Smash the like button, be subscribed to the channel as always. And then if I can remember, we'll also be doing a giveaway on Twitch as well for my viewers that watch all of this stuff happen live. Similarly as well, we'll do a jersey giveaway and we'll draw the winner the next time we do another past and present squad builder. So without further ado, today's epi is going to be a little bit different. So it is a past and present Spain squad and it's going to be done as live as possible. So we're going to be doing a live squad builder and squad review. Um, I have the team completed and so you guys aren't going to get that 40 minute long us buying and building out each little intricate setup of the team. I've actually played a lot of games with these guys. So I think I'm about 20 games in with the Spain team. So I wanted to have this epi and more so because I we just... I want to try something new um, as opposed to just having a 45 minute long session where you guys are just watching me endlessly buy and move and, and shift players around. I wanted to try and have it set up like this. The Real and Barca past and present squad builders were that style. For this one, we're going to do just the, the live squad as I show it to you. A couple of exciting players in here too. I think you guys are going to appreciate. And then we're going to do a live game. So they're still going to be clipped in like any dead zones will be taken out of the epi. So it should still be a 20 to 30 minute episode if we can possibly keep it to that. That's the goal for these past and present squad builders. So without further ado, in the goalkeeper spot, absolutely you can make an argument for so many different players. Sorry, 12 games played so far with the Spain squad. I was going to go with St. Iker again, but we put him in the Real Madrid team. So I thought, why not put David De Gea in here? I guess we could have put Kepa in here. There's just not a lot of special Spain goalkeepers. There's this week's informed goalkeeper, but I'd rather go with De Gea. I haven't used De Gea a lot this year. And, you know, he's about as good as any of the other keepers outside of Ter Stegen and Van der Sar are in their own world. David De Gea is like in there with like the Handanoviches and the Lorises. Although to be fair, Hugo Lloris, I don't know if they've done something. This is sorry, completely off topic. I don't know if they've done something or not, but Hugo Lloris is legit good now. Over the last like week or so, I've used him for through like five or 10 games for the uh, Premier League first owner team that I have. And I don't know if they've patched Hugo Lloris's in form. I have an untradeable one. He's nuts. Like I would put it all along the same lines as of a Ter Stegen. Moving on. At right back, again, we got some options. I wanted to go with something a little bit more original. So things are going to be a little bit weird here, okay? So as obviously the thumbnail would have shown, at right back starting in the squad is Sergio Ramos. But Sergio Ramos, as I think a lot of you guys would be happy with, is going to be at center back for this past and present Spain squad. He was just newly released as a flashback player. And initially I thought he was overpriced at the four to 500K. But if you start him at right back and switch him into center back, 
with an anchor, he's a 97 rated center back. Okay. And as you can see via his stats, 92 sprint speed, 96 acceleration, 99 standing tackle, 97 defensive awareness, 96 interceptions, 93 strength, 99 aggression, 97 reactions. That's a big one for center backs. Okay. 97 reactions is absolutely incredible. 94 composures, absolutely incredible. 87 agility, fantastic as a ball playing center back. And then he's got fantastic dribbling. I don't really care too much about the shots. The fact that he has 81 attack positioning and shot power and all that stuff is actually pretty darn good. And then, um, I don't believe he's had any, ch has he had changes again to his work rates? I don't think so. Right. Uh, he's still high medium, which is fine. I've used Hummels. I've used plenty of, of center backs with high medium work rates and they're good to go. So he is absolutely going to be our center back. Now to segue into that nicely, we've got our right back again, headliner Kappa as our right back. I'm starting him on seven chem. So another thing, if you want to use Sergio Ramos at center back because of the formation switch in game, very easy to just get Ramos at center back while keeping him on 10 chem. And what I would say is your wing backs being off of chem. So this guy being my right back with 90 sprint speed, 84 acceleration, um, you know, 90 standing tackle, you know, 95 def or sorry, 85 defensive awareness, 85 interceptions is fine. I think that's more than good enough. And, and real quick here, I think this guy would actually benefit from an anchor. We've used him now for 24 games. Okay. And one of the biggest problems with this guy is the way everybody paces like crazy this year. So I would probably give him um, a little bit better in terms of a pace boost. Whether you want to go all out and give this guy a shadow, I don't know if you want to spend the 20k on him or the 10k on him. So maybe get yourself an anchor and boost up the pace. But he's all right. In terms of the right backs in the game, he does fine. Spanish right backs, probably one of the best ones out there. La Liga right backs though, you've got a lot of options, man. Specifically that headliner or any version of Nelson Semedo. What's his price actually? Oh no, I packed him first owner, untradeable. But anyways, Nelson Semedo is probably the truth if it comes to La Liga right backs. Moving on, the left center back. We had to do it, boys. I went all in and spent the money on Carlos Puyol. I still think to this day, this card is a disgrace. I was hoping... With how they disgraced him and didn't give him a really good card with his prime card last year. I remember we talked about that a lot. About how I thought it was idiotic. His card wasn't good enough. He deserved at least like high 70s for pace. He was a rapid player in his in his, in his his past. At least from the games that I remember watching. The El Clasicos, etc. that I remember watching. Nevertheless, they still disrespected him in my opinion in terms of his pace. I think for a moment's card, it would have been sick to give him like 78 sprint speed and maybe like 77 uh, acceleration. Nevertheless, thanks to uh, the Shadow Chem style, he's now up to 83 sprint speed and 86 acceleration. And we've now used him in champs. We've, we're have 9-0 in champs while using him at center back. And then we've also played uh, quite a few games in rivals with this Spanish team because I wanted to get a past and present squad builder going but have an understanding of how the team plays. And Puyol is fantastic. High, 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 high level, high level, high level, high level um, in terms of the player and who he is and stuff like that. So I would recommend him to everybody. If you're sick of just using the Van Dykes and the Rio Ferdinands and and all of these players, I would highly recommend you pick up someone like this. Because first of all, maybe a lot of you guys are Barca fans, a lot of you guys are maybe Spanish, etc. He's sick. He's really sick and he's something a little bit more original to you. So I couldn't recommend him any more to you guys. Um, Left back, again, you've got quite a few options there. Uh, quite a few different players to pick up. Maybe the, the usual for a lot of people would be uh, Alba, which is which is fine. But for me, I had a pack pulled Bernat. And he's one of these newly upgraded cards that EA basically just threw into the usable meta of players. And I wanted to test him out and see if he was actually usable. And with an anchor, 12 games later, uh, he's very, very, very good. Very strong, man. And that anchor, as you can see, in terms of the important parts of his card are fantastic. He's got 84 reactions and 80 composure. I would say maybe those are the two things at left back that aren't amazing, but 87 sprint speed, 92 acceleration, 96 aggression is great for a wing back. 74 strength might not be the best, but 96 stamina, 97 standing tackle, 90 defensive awareness, and uh, 91 interceptions. Very, very good with the rest of his dribbling. Passing, maybe not the best, but again, what's his price? Like 10K? Very, very fun, nevertheless. Now, at DM, again, we've got a lot of options. I didn't notice really any difference between the baby Pep 
and the prime pep in general i didn't want to go get the moments card anyways so what i decided to do is just pick whatever version that isn't the baby um and isn't the and isn't the moment sorry uh and this mid card does the job man he's pretty sick he's pretty sick the only thing i would say and one thing i've noticed i think we were noticing on stream is he feels weird so defensively he's sound he's always in position as you can see by his stats as a holding dm in a 4231 he's fantastic you're not going to really feel too um too many problems but i don't know if it's his agility his balance or his dribbling or the fact that even though it says he's 5'11", he feels like he has that big trait, like that big build in foot. He feels very clunky, to put it uh, to put it mildly. So, whereas he does okay defensively, maybe I'm very spoiled with using Calvin Phillips, man. Calvin Phillips as a DM is just the best DM in the game. He's, he's Kante, basically, right? And Kante is truly the best DM in the game, that team of the year, Kante. And those short, high agility, high defending, high pace players as holding DMs, in the current terrible meta of FIFA 20 gameplay, those players do well. These players don't seem to do very well. And you're going to see in the live game, we're going to do a live game. And I'm going to try and talk you guys through everything I'm feeling and, and working with with the team. So you're going to get a proper, you're getting the review on these players now. And then you'll get a proper example of how the players play on the field. Anyways, he's our right DM. Um, how could we not, right? I'm, I'm hoping most of you guys are excited about this one. As a central cam in our 4 2 3 1, you have to go with 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 um San Andres Iniesta, and he's looking good. So we give him a sniper as our central cam. He's gonna be scoring a lot of goals. 96 finishing, 95 attack positioning, 94 balance, and 97 agility. So again, you need a lot of good dribbling abilities in the current meta of the game. And his his passing is outrageous as it is. His shot power, probably the biggest problem with this card. I would say maybe maybe giving this guy a either a marksman or a maestro could really take him to the next level i think that's the only downside the shot you need good shot power in the game and 77 shot power isn't enough so maybe maestro maybe marksman would be the absolute best card for this this iniesta at at cam and i think you can kind of see right 25 games my central cam and central striker score all my goals in my 4-2-3-1 setups and the fact that Iniesta has only scored six goals and only 13 assists in 25 games is not it's not standard to the normal return I get for my central cam so maybe a maestro would be the move or a marksman moving on the box-to-box -box rude hullet roll the left dm right the Kimmich roll we can almost say now the moments Kimmich roll at least for this past and present squad is going to Saul so I think he looks good on paper. He's got the high, high work rates. He's pretty cheap as well. So for 49K, why not? 16 games in, he's got four goals and three assists. So he's done a bit of a job for us. 79 sprint speed, 80 acceleration, very well balanced. Thanks to the engine chem style, he gets that like Stevie G boost. So Stevie G's middle card for me has 80 balance and I think 81 agility. So this card's very similar, 80 balance, 79 agility, 93 dribbling, 92 ball control, 89 reactions. Good card. I, I honestly he he's i'm as happy with this guy as i am um with any card i've used 89 stamina is good he's going to be running up and down the field like a lunatic i would say maybe the only issue is that aggression that's the only complaint i think i could even think of uh on this card is that his aggression means that at least in the defensive side of things he's a bit of, he's a bit tame he's a bit tame on the ball and and that can be uh, a little bit annoying anyways moving on at striker so our striker position is going to the moments Butragueno. Again, I kind of wanted to go all out. Unfortunately, I did not do the end of era David Villa. For me, an end of era David Villa, an end of era or like moments Fernando Torres from the time I was watching European football. That would be one of the players I would have put at striker. Man, that like that setup, that, that, when was it? Early 2000s? No, early 2000s? No. No. No, like 2010 or 2012 or whatever it was. The David Villa Torres partnership for Spain, insane. I didn't get Villa and Torres. Obviously, we don't have anything specifically for this year. So I thought, why not we spend some cash, 3.4 million coins, and give you guys a proper past and present Spain striker in terms of uh, Butragueno. So he's played all of my weekend league games as well. Out wide left. He's very wasted out wide, as you could imagine. He should be uh, played up front at striker. So I'm excited to use him even further for this past and present squad at striker. So he's played nine games out wide, still scoring, as you can see, 14 goals 
right? Nine of those games are out wide, and then you know uh, eight of those games are central. So he's been he's been good, and as you can see, those stats are just obnoxious for a a striker. Maybe the sixty seven strength is the only thing I can think of really to complain about. Everything else, he's absolutely fantastic. So from here. The final two attacking positions are, are two positions. We could have gone with a just myriad of players and an endless amount of players. I wanted to make it a little bit different. So my right cam, I like to have it be a messy type of player. Left-footed, pacey, good on the ball, great shooting. And the only player that really fit the bill for me was this uh, Gerard Moreno. Now, he doesn't have the exact pace that you, that you would specifically want. And again, I don't think I have the chem style right for him. But in terms of being limited to what options I have, this is the best I could do. You either got to give up agility and balance to then improve the pace or you give up the pace to, to, to improve the agility and balance because it's not that great. So I, I, I would say this guy, ideally, you would want to give him an engine. I think as a wide right cam, we've used him now for, what, 12 games? Something like that. 15 games, one goal and three assists is not good enough. So I'm having a little bit of troubles with this passive president squad on the right side. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know what you think um, would be the best setup to go with. Is there someone better that I'm forgetting? Like, should I maybe put that man of the match um, in Naki Williams wide right? Maybe he would do better for me, even though he's right footed and only three star, three star, I believe. So this guy has the weak foot not the skill moves he's got the foot and the work rates but he's not great so i would say this guy isn't that fantastic to use haven't been totally impressed with him and you can kind of tell like his in-game stats aren't that amazing i've been talking up highly a lot of the players in this team this is one of the problem spots and then to be a little bit original we kind of threw him into the into the thumbnail because I think everybody's excited about this guy's future. Really disappointed that EA didn't put this guy in the game during Future Stars and then give us an SBC of Ansu Fati as a Future Star. Would have been just lights out because he starts out with 4-star, four 4-star, four star, which is fantastic. High medium work rates, 510. As a base card setup in terms of his physicals, like work rates and whatever, amazing. Um, Stats-wise, though, as you can imagine, he's terrible. It's just the way this game is and the meta of this game. Silver players are impossible to use. So we give him a, a, a bronze um, the attribute card that we got from bronze packs just to give him a little bit of a pep. But even then, he's just, he's just near impossible to use. But it's a bit of fun. So he's got good pace with the sniper. He's got... What is that? Is that 86? No, 89 finishing. Not bad. And then he's got 71 attack positioning. So... And then with the dribbling stats, 88 dribbling, 81 ball control, 91 balance, 99 agility. He's very good on the ball. It's just he's silver, right? So that is the past and present Spain squad. So it's not as sexy as maybe some of the teams we're going to do this year. Next squad we do is probably going to go back to, um, you know, a team. I think we're probably going to do maybe a past and present Liverpool team. I've been promising you guys that for quite a while. So I do think that's going to be the next league team we do. If you have a better suggestion, again, feel free to let me know either in the Twitch chat or within the comment section of this video itself. But just to show you guys what we're going to use from start to finish in terms of the setup. So a very aggressive setup where my defense gets pushed up very high, but then my attack is actually relatively deep. And what that does is it basically pushes my entire squad into a high press without having high press as a as a tactic. So my deep my my my, my center backs and and midfielders are in and around the middle of the field, like right at the halfway line, and then my forwards are in and around the 18, but not in the 18. So it puts like 10 of my players there, and you just overwhelm your opponent it works very very well and then again just to show you on the field we've got the spain badge the kits i haven't done i don't think i've done the jersey numbers i don't know if you guys care about that but anyways there's the squad and without further ado let's get ourselves into um the game see how the team performs in rival come on don't be a batch just i hope i come up against someone that's willing to attack not just sit there and pass it around the back like this is rivals you know, we're in Division 4, relatively high up in Division 4. So the potential to play someone that just passes around the back with a God Squad is going to be very high. Flopping on you. Yikes. That team name already concerns me. That is an ultra meta setup. 
Good God. All right. Well, I'm going to go all at attack. Let's let's hope that this guy does the same. Are we going to get shished and dabbed on with the Spain squad? We're going to keep it positive, right? Positive and non-toxic as much as we can. Too bad that we weren't playing at home either, you could guys. I've got the Santiago Bernabeo as well. Looks really... What are you up to, my man? What are you up to? What has he got on the bench here? Sanchez, Acuna Matata, Politano. Of course, he's got Traore, Tonali. Oh my God, big yikes! Well, he's definitely. Not, I, I I would assume he's not playing the five at the back. Definitely switching things up, but I I think it's just going to be switched up in game. There it is, four two three one. Yay! One depth drop back, overload ball side as we're doing a past and present Spain squad. Oh god, this is gonna be fun, guys. Oh yay! All right, let's try. Focus, boys. To be a good a good warm up to our champs games today. Anyways, come on. So there's a uh, Saul. Yikes, man. This guy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, nice. Okay, here we go. Too bad he can't play that, like, Spanish tiki-taka, huh? This gameplay is so slow that it's near impossible to play the Spanish tiki-taka. Son. Wow, terrible. Pen ref! Send him off! I, uh... Oh, unlucky, boys. Unlucky. Is he making any subs? No. Did he have Dan James this whole time? Okay. Good play. Oh, God. I don't have the DMs. Oh, no. Let's go. Sergio. Oh, God. Wait, what? He just passed that through his player. Oh. Okay, so not going to lie, man. That's embarrassing. I hate this game. So, my center back was sitting there all alone. And by the time I clicked pass and De Gea actually released the ball, his player just covered the passing lane, man. Oh, well. I'm trying to play quick, quick flowing football, but... Yes! A kickoff boost doesn't exist, boys! I'm just a sick FIFA player! Let's go, Butra! Yo, Iniesta with that fake shot stop, though. Let's get it. Okay, everything's fine. Big mistake, but we recovered instantly because EA's game is terrible. Let's go. Good goal, good goal, good goal. Focus, focus, focus. No. See what I mean about uh, Pep? He's just like... Just feels like he's not even in the game, man. I don't know how to explain it. Pep, please. Do something, man. Oh. Okay. Love it. I mean, at least I'm using different players, right? Like, we're really making this hard on ourselves, but... No worries. It's fine. Don't don't worry about making the pass or anything. I'm okay. Good spread of play. Like, we could obviously be doing better with, with Alba and, you know, maybe Hero instead of Puyo because you get a little bit more pace. Um... I don't know. I think Kappa is probably the best option, though, at right back still. Pep, please. Please stop feeling weird, dude. Anyways. This is, uh, this is fun. Good tackle. At least you guys are seeing my defensive abilities. <laughs> Butra Gueno with the heaviest touch of all time. Focus. Hey, bro, this is really fun, man. I'm really enjoying myself. I, I, I love how in FIFA, there's a place to take fun squads, like a past and present Spain team. You know? It's really rewarding that there's a fun area to take it where you don't play the sweaty, weird tryhards that pass it around the back for 37 and a half hours before taking a shot. You know? Tackle. Or less. Julian? Or Juan? Dude, I almost called him Julian Bernat. Ansu? Yeah, yeah. Love it. 
Got to make this possession count, boys. Awesome. Totally made it count. <gasps> yes. Okay. Andres Iniesta. Terrible pass, but I think that's more my fault than Iniesta's fault. Good tackle. And again, good tackle. Sergio Ramos. Beautiful. Okay. Probably shouldn't be forcing that pass against a uh, prime Zanetti with a shadow. My fault. It's with Bernardo Silva. This guy is so boring. I mean, I get it. You know, he's just playing rivals. He doesn't care what I'm trying to do. He's not playing the game for me. You know, he's just playing, playing his sweaty style of play. Maybe he's like warming up for his champs games, right? Good tackle. This gameplay is very slow, man. It's very disappointing to play. All right, Butra is completely out of the game, fouled, and no call from the ref at all. Love it. Should have been a foul there, right, dudes? Butra just getting murdered. Nice. Good tackle that goes right back to Mendy. Come on, boys. Focus. Focus. Gotta be a foul. I mean, I don't know how that is not a foul. <laughs> Dude, what is this game's, like, uh, tackle mechanics, man? Or refereeing decisions, whatever you want to consider it. Alright, well, you know what? First game of the day, probably shouldn't have decided to do this past and present squad builder. It's completely, like, not warmed up. Of course, I have to play the world's sweatiest human being as well. That's my fault. I double tapped circle to try and do some weird like green time shot or something. Okay. My fault. Should be 2-1 there. I did bad. Especially at the 45th minute. That's on me. I can't blame the game or anybody for that. Come on. We got one more chance. Iniesta. What an AI block. Oh my God. How am I not scoring? Oh, the AI just jumped right into the way of that shot. I thought that's 2-1 as well. Oh, jeez. Unlucky. Okay, it's all right. Good first half, boys. What else can we do other than keep trying like this? Not bad at all. No complaints from me. I'm going to turn on the AC, though, because honestly, I think my camera is going to crash out of this. Yeah, the Classico is... The Classico. Ooh, a Classico squad builder could always be fun. I mean, I guess it's pretty much looking at this team, right? A Spain team, you could just turn it into a Classico squad builder. All right. The players that have gone through the Real or Barca setup is just incredible, isn't it, though? When you really think about it, man. Just like it literally Iniesta is trying to shoot it through three AI defenders that dive into the way. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm meant to score from here. I'm lucky that I scored that first opportunity, man. Perfect, though. This is a perfect advertisement for FIFA 20, though, isn't it, guys? For anybody that hasn't really played FIFA 20 in, in a few months, this is absolutely going to convince you never to touch this terrible game. Look at this horrid meta. There's Ten players behind the ball. Like I said, I'm not, I don't blame this guy. That's terrible button delay. Um, I don't blame this guy. I'm not hating on this guy for his style of play. Um, but. No, I mean, I don't know. I had nowhere to play that pass to, unfortunately. That's my fault. You see? Just sit back and then hit it on counters, baby. Okay, we got it. Good read. Love it. 
Well, Trigueno. Okay, so right there, it, again, wasn't the right decision. But I just wanted like a quick pass up the field. And he takes like the heaviest touch, turns the wrong way, and then proceeds to spend another four seconds before he releases the pass. So that quick little pass to, to send Moreno in on net is just gone. Once again, though, like, look at, look at, uh, look at Pep, man. God, you're such a boring FIFA player. Oh my God, this is so dead. Don't hate the player, hate the game. What if I said I hated you? What, what would happen then? Extra delay. Yikes, man. I think we're given a good, um, giving ourselves a good run out here. We're trying. I do here, man. <laughs> Please, it's just a, I want him to step into the space and shoot it. Oh, and he just stands still and does nothing and then tries to like scoop shoot it. I uh something's up something's been terrible with the servers this weekend, unfortunately. These squad builders are fun to do, man. The the unfortunate thing is you still gotta take them into terrible gameplay and terrible servers and terrible meta and terrible fifa community tactics of just you know ugh. anyways it is what it is good read pep okay can we do a quick counter or will this dead game not even let me do that oh my god oh! let's go the real madrid-esque counter boys Let's go! You love to see it! Oh, it's beautiful! It's beautiful! Ansu Fati! Alright, let's go overload ball side to try and hold on for dear life here. Because that's what this guy's been doing from the get-go. The fact that I'm doing it from the 73rd minute, I should I should have a crown made for me, dudes. Let's go, boys! Beautiful! Um... Okay... Yikes. Come on. He's on high press now too, so we might get a mistake out of him. Yup. His his left back kept me on side, boys. His left back kept me on side there. I played that ball in because his left back, I think it was Mendy, was in no man's land. Look at that. Ansu Fati Iniesta. Butra. Oh, the Spanish fans are loving it, man. Go celebrate with some paella, huh? Oh my god, I love paella. Now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry! Alright, boys, come on! What a performance against this team and these tactics, dudes! You love to see it! Oh. I still will never forgive Iniesta and Spain for breaking my Dutch heart, man. In 2010. But you know who you gotta blame more than that? The donkey RVP and uh, Aryan Robin. That's who you gotta blame for that absolute morons can't score to save their life wesley schneider had the tournament and the game of his life and still robin two breakaways against spain can't score pleb moron if that was Bayern. robin would have scored of course but because it's the dutch national team now nah, he can't do that robin i'm disappointed in you dude and rvp don't even let me talk about rvp dude well this is cool all he has to do is just hold uh can't do i can't i mean this is clearly he's gone on constant pressure and team high press i can't do anything i can't move the ball out of my own end Good tackle puyol please pass oh it's so clunky love that love that though here we go boys San Iniesta! Boom! Let's go, baby! Woo! I think that's Saint, right? Please, my Spanish friends, don't hate on me. Let's go, boys. You'll love to see it. Nice amount of rivals points there. Great, great showing for the past and present Spanish squad. So like I said, man, I've used this team uh, for a lot of games. They do well, boys. 
The fact that I'm getting these results in high D4 with Ansu Fati is something that I'm happy about, of course. No goals. Yes, Puyo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I love it. I love Carlos Puyo. I wish I had infinite coins so I could keep Puyo. He's like he's like kind of a not a not a club legend in terms I mean in terms of Nick 28T's FUD account, but he kinda is. Like I wish I've enjoyed using Puyo so much that he's the type of player. Sorry, was the last half muted completely? That's even more idiotic. Um but the, Puyol's the type of player that I absolutely would love to be able to keep using, man. Um, he was just... Yeah, I muted it because, if you believe it or not, at least on YouTube, this music, which you can barely hear, you might not even be able to hear, and the halftime menu music is copyright striked on YouTube. This random audio riff, EA just took it from some music artist, and it gets copyrighted all over YouTube. So I can't have the menu music playing in the background, unfortunately. Um, how about that though? Plenty of chances, four goals, let's go. So as a quick, uh, you know, review, high level review of this Spain squad. So how far away are we from division three? Like a hundred points or is that 50 points? I think we're relatively close to division three now, which I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> I actually think that's a bad thing. So to finish off this epi again, hopefully you guys enjoy these random little things, trying to have a little bit of fun lighting my coins on fire to do these squad builders as you know i've lost like 150k on him i've lost like 300k on him but we're just trying to have a little bit of fun in you know what's left of fifa for this year butra super fun at striker as you can see he just puts everything away for 3.3 million coins you'd expect him to put everything away anzu fati i i'm hoping at some point maybe we get a fuddies anzu fati maybe we get a fut birthday anzu fati I hope EA find it within their hearts to give us something fun. And this guy, maybe they can turn him into last year's, um, uh, what was it? That future star, um, what's his name? Future stars, Real Madrid left winger. I'm losing my mind. Not Rodrigo. The guy that missed like three open nets basically for Real in the Champions League this week. Hello? Vinicius Jr., thank you. How we got that... Vinicius Jr. was barely usable last year. Although he had good weak foot skill moves and work rates. And then they gave him that, like, god level future star. I'm hoping at some point this year, because they've added him into the game now, we get a, like, 89 rated or 88 rated Ansu Fati. Maybe just a record breaker. He's broken a couple of records for teenagers, etc. this year for Barcelona and for Spain something just just for the fun of it man what a, he would probably get into my dream team I, I just this kid is a baller man and uh he's really fun to use i can only imagine how incredible he would be with a proper fut card so on that note god bless you all thank you so much for watching yet another uh epi on the channel of the past and present series as always if you want to be part of the the jersey the shirt the kit giveaway like the video comment on why and how and who is your nation in European football or in football in general that you support? Are you from Brazil? Where's the, you know, where's the attachment there? Like it, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.